Good day, my name is Jan Libbinger. I'm from Bark and Limited Organics. Today we're going to do something totally different from all the videos we've done up until now. We're going to look at how to pollinate a cycad. Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature. Today we're going to show you how to pollinate the cycad. We'll show you the difference between a male plant and a female plant and we'll show you exactly how to harvest the pollen and to prepare it for pollination. So firstly we want to show you the difference between some cycad species that we have here. Um, this one is one with a grey leaf and the other one has got a green leaf and some people always ask us uh, but what is the difference and in general the green leafed ones uh, are more suited for full sun and semi-shaded areas and they can't handle too much cold where the grey leafed ones can take a lot more cold and they can even handle frost and they need to be planted in full sun when a cycad has got grey leaves it's always an indication that the plant uh, prefers full sun position we're in front of our offices where the cycads are we're going to use in our video today and we're first going to show you the male plant and as you will notice this to see the pollen sacs in between the scales of this cone now that will also indicate that this is a male plant because there are no seeds there it's only the pollen sacs and if you look down in between the leaves you will see some of the pollen has already fallen out of this cone so this is definitely ready for harvesting so you will notice on this cone that the scales are going in a specific direction like that uh, it works in a spiral around the cone and that will also indicate the direction of which we need to turn this cone to remove it from the plant. If we turn it, the whole stem will come out of the plant. It's, it's vital not to cut the stem because the part of the stem that stays behind will rot and will attract bacteria which might jeopardize our whole plant and we don't want to lose the plant. The spiral runs in that direction so we will take the cone and turn it like that and you can see right in the bottom the stem is also turning and watch out for the thorns because they're very sharp and off it comes so we leave behind as little as possible of the stem and you will see all the pollen falling from the the cone as well okay just and the thorn actually got me there <laughs> and you can see all the pollen. So what we'll do is we'll take a piece of newspaper, lay the cone on the newspaper to collect the pollen. So we've brought the cone back to our workbench, we've laid out a piece of newspaper, and once I start shaking this cone, we don't need to shake it very hard, just tap it lightly, and you will see the pollen falling from this cone. And that is what we're gonna collect now, and I will show you exactly how to use this or prepare this for the pollination of the female cone and then we will show you the difference between the male and the female cone so we'll set this aside and you can see how much pollen collected on this piece of newspaper so we will just collect this and it's as easy as folding the paper like that so we'll take a small cup with some lukewarm water this the water must not be hot and it mustn't be ice cold either so what we'll do is we'll deposit this pollen into the water by folding the newspaper like that and we'll just shake all the pollen into the cup with water And what we'll do is this cone, we're going to wrap this in the newspaper because we're going to harvest more pollen from this uh, in a day or two when this starts ripening further and we'll take some elastic bands, just secure the newspaper like that. And we will leave this in a 
in a dry place. So in a few days from now, to say two days from now, we will take the newspaper off again and collect the pollen that came from the cone and we'll keep on with that process until there's no pollen coming from it. What we will do is uh, we'll collect the pollen, keep it in a small tube in our refrigerator, not in the freezer. We don't want the pollen to freeze, we'll just keep it nice and cool and that will prolong the lifespan of the pollen. The pollen can be kept in a, in a fridge for about two or three years. Uh, it's actually better used uh, fresh, but you can keep it for up to two or three years and um, that will ensure that when you've got a female cone which is ready for pollination, that you do have pollen available. So once we've taken the cone off the male plant um, to protect the wound from getting infected by uh, fungus, we're just going to take some um, sulfur powder and dust it onto the wound. Um, sulfur powder is available from pharmacies, it's very inexpensive and it's a very good uh, fungicide to use on your cycads. So we've put our sulfur in a small tube and we've made a, a hole in the lid and we're just going to dust some sulfur onto the wound where we've taken off the, um, the cone to make sure that no fungus will infect our plant. And that should be adequate. You can see the yellow powder and um, that will protect our cycad from being infected by a fungus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our cup with the water and the pollen and we will stir the pollen so that it uh, mixes with the water and uh, we get this to dissolve in the water 100%, uh, no lumps. And there's uh, actually three different ways that uh, pollen gets distributed from the male plants to the female plants. In nature, um, one of the ways would be uh, wind pollination. So the pollen would actually blow from the male plant towards the female plant. And um, the other one would be by insects, which is normally the case with cycads. Um, but because these cycads are not in their natural habitat, the natural pollinators are not with us and we have to make a different plan to make sure that pollination takes place. And the third method is pollination with water. And this is not a natural way to do it for cycads, but this is the best way to do it uh, if the natural pollinators are not available. So you can see that the pollen is uh, dissolved in the water and we will now use um, a small syringe please suck up the pollen water and then we will do the pollination on the female plant so this is the female cycad that we're going to pollinate now and you will notice that this plant the cone is much thicker it's much bigger and the reason for that being this cone is full of seeds on the inside which are not pollinated yet but they're fully developed and we need to pollinate this now one way of checking whether this cone is ready for pollination is when you touch the scales like that and move them and they are loose like this it means there are gaps in between the scales for the pollen to enter if the scales are, are very tight then you need to keep the pollen in the fridge for a while until it loosens up like this so this plant is absolutely ready for being pollinated and we will do pollination on this plant say every second or third day until the cone tightens up again and you won't be able to move the scales like that anymore. So the next step will be to take our syringe and to draw up the pollen water into the syringe and we will then uh, take this and put it in between this, those loose scales that we were talking about and slowly um, inject the pollen water into this cone like with the male cone you will see these scales are also in a spiral form like that so the water with the pollen that we injected in between the scales will actually spiral down through the whole cone and pollinate each and every seed there's roughly about 500 seeds in a big cone like this and we will just keep on pollinating this until uh, we've used up all the pollen and the water
and it's vital to do this a couple of times so every second or third day for a week or two uh, to make a hundred percent sure that um, this plant this cone is pollinated properly uh, this is a fairly expensive uh, cycad and a fairly slow growing cycad very hardy and uh, worthwhile spending some time on to make sure that we get as many seeds as possible. After pollination has taken place, the cone will close up again and then this cone will sit for approximately another 12 months on the plant for the seeds to fully develop uh, and to be ready for harvesting. Um, in a year's time from now, we'll probably make another video to show you how to harvest the seeds and how to prepare them for planting. So now that we've um, shown you how to pollinate the female cone, uh, remember it's vital to store the male cone in a cool, dry place and every second or third day harvest the pollen. Keep that in your fridge and uh, you can also use some of the pollen to repollinate that cone until that cone tightens up. And yeah, this is uh, how it's done. Now the long wait starts and we're going to wait for about almost a year before those seeds are ready and we will do another video once that's done and you will see the cone will start falling apart by itself once it's ready and we will also show you the difference between seeds that has been pollinated and ones that hasn't been pollinated in order for you not to waste your time on trying to germinate seeds that are not pollinated. We also have a special cycad mix available which you can get from all good retail outlets or alternatively if you want bulk loads, if you've got lots and lots of cycads to plant, you're welcome to contact us for a bulk load. And you can look out for it in your local nursery, it's in a purple bag, it's ideal for growing cycads and we will show you in another video exactly how to transplant your cycads. Remember, cycads that are container grown can be transplanted any time of the year and we advise that uh, cycads that you want to move from one spot in your garden to another one that you wait until it's shortly after winter before they start pushing new leaves and then move the plant. We also have this book here which was written by a South African author by the name of Cornea Hugo and this explains the difference between the different species of cycads, indigenous cycads and it's got lots and lots of pictures whereby you can identify the plants that are growing in your garden. These books are available from all good bookstores and if you're struggling to find these we've got a couple available for sale. And for more information on our products and for growing plants you can go to our website at www.barkunlimited.co.za Also watch out for more videos on growing plants and remember to mulch your plants and to save on water and uh, protect the soil of your plants by mulching. So if you liked this video and found the information useful, you can always hit the like button and if you want more videos on how to grow plants and how to use our products, you can always subscribe to our channel. Refresh your garden with the Bark Unlimited range of top quality organic products. Bark Unlimited Organics. Refresh nature.